This video is going to be about how I made the structural members uh, for the domestic hot water tank that I'll be building. So under here is some wood that I saved from tearing down the old garage. And uh, I know I got some 2x6s. They were rafters. So I'm going to take these guys. Uh, well, I cut down the pile uh, so that I have enough, enough pieces all at uh, six feet length. And as you can probably tell, anytime you work with old lumber, <laughs> it's got some wicked bows to it. I'm throwing it on um, this guy and we'll cut it straight. So here's the general idea. I mark it at the halfway point. This is a little bit under five and a half. And uh, I don't have a jointer, so this is how I do it. Now, should be left with a straight line, and I am. So I'm getting all my wood together to form the structural ribs of the tank. These are gonna go around the storage tank to keep the walls from blowing out from the pressure of the plywood. Uh, so I'm taking them and I've cut both sides. I rough cut all these to six feet in length over at the wood pile. And now I am checking both ends for the defects. This end looks like it has more splitting in it. So I'm going to trim this end off. So I'm wicked excited. This old DeWalt dado set, which uh, looks like it was never used, my late grandfather gave it to me. So I am not an expert with dado blades. If you guys know if I'm doing this right <laughs> or not, let me know. Wrench from my table saw will fit the inner nut to hold the arbor stationary. Got our pile cut. You can see here, I have five sets. Uh, so it should be really strong. I don't want the, I don't want the walls of the tank bending or bowing outward. Or These are old boards, but not all of them are, are perfectly, these two happen to line up really well. Um, but some of them won't be perfect and they'll have a little lip. But I'm pretty happy with that, should be a strong joint. Well hey, thanks for checking out the video and if you like these videos, please like, comment, subscribe and share. And uh, if you have any questions about this series of building this domestic hot water solar thermal system, uh, please leave your questions below in the comments.